Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another AGIX price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the AGIX chart. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, AGIX has continued to hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also continued to show a lot of strength for us to continue gearing up. And we are just about to see a breakout out of a chart pattern that I have over here, which is a double bottom. Having our common bottom at, a, at around the 0 0.22722 mark and the neckline at around the 0 0.26142 mark. And this is a chart pattern that breaks to the upper side, having the minimum target area of the breakout being given by the height between the neckline and the bottoms. And I was able to get that height, placed it above the neckline and gave me a minimum target area at around the 0 $0.29404 mark. So in case AGX continues to gear up, see a break above the neckline, continue showing a lot of strength then there are high chances that we are going to fully maximize our minimum target area at around the 0 $0.29404 mark. We have also continued to obey the ADUTF structures here on the AGX chart and that is what is going to give me my long term expectations here on the AGX chart and if I zoom out so that we can see that better. You can see that AGIX after seeing its low down there at around the 0 $0.003 mark, we started seeing higher prices in this one to set up first before we started our ADOTF structure where we picked in the formation of this larger ADOTF count one in a move that gave us a peak at around the 0 $0.67 mark. And that was after seeing a five wave structure to the upside and having seen the formation of that first wave, whatever we expected next was a corrective structure in the formation of a larger ADOT wave count too. And using the Fibonacci's, connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, that gave me a minimum retracement area for that wave two between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is a target area that lies between the 0 $0.35528 mark and the 0 $0.17536 mark. And it is within this blue target area that I was expecting to see the low for this wave too. And you can see that has played out. Also our ABC corrective structure has also played out so nicely, having the wave C giving us one more leg down below the low for that wave A. And since we have now fully maximized our blue target area in the formation of this wave 2, I now think that AGX is now ready for a massive pump in the formation of that wave 3, which we expect after seeing the formation of a larger ADU to have count 2. And using the trend-based Fibonacci, connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, that now gives me a minimum target area at around the $1.25114 mark. And that is the minimum that we can expect AGX to do on the long term scenarios in the formation of that wave 3. And for that to play out, we need to see a break above significant areas of resistance and also significant swing highs here on the charts. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. But for now on the short term scenarios, continue watching our double bottom, which could possibly give us a breakout very soon, having the minimum target areas at around the 0.29634 mark. And also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI, we are trading at around the 57 mark, meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices. Also taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bullish cross, fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated. 